In today's video, we're going to take a look at the flat rate scheme for VAT and how it works in Xero. The flat rate scheme for VAT and how it works in Xero. That's what we're going to head into Xero and take a look at. But before we do, I just want to make you aware that I've got two further videos on the flat rate scheme. I've got one that explains what the flat rate scheme is all about. So if you're unsure about that, it's worth checking that video. And I've got a second video where I show you my flat rate scheme calculator where you can determine if you would actually save money by being on the flat rate scheme. I'm sure that one will interest you. But today's video, we're heading into Xero to take a look at how the flat rate scheme works in Xero. Okay, we're on our Xero desktop for Magic Media and the first place we want to go to is we want to choose Accounting. We want to go to Advanced over to the right hand side and we're going to select our financial settings. At the top of our financial settings there's a VAT section and we're going to select from the drop down menu not the accrual scheme but we're going to choose the flat rate accrual scheme. The VAT period that's likely to be quarterly we would choose the right option there our VAT number is input and then we also need to fill in here a flat rate adjustment account, which I will come back to. Okay, there's a quick note on here telling you what Xero will do when we choose the flat rate scheme. The asset and expense accounts will now have no VAT and there's a tax code for if we make capital purchases over £2,000 because we know that we can reclaim the VAT on these purchases. And it also says we will have to enter our flat rate percentage when we're doing our VAT return. Once we're happy, we're going to scroll down and we're going to choose save. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to accounting and we're going to scroll down and we're going to choose our chart of accounts. And as expected, because we have chose the flat rate scheme, most of our accounts will now say no VAT. Our sales code will still have 20% VAT because we know that we will still be charging VAT to our customers. If we scroll down, if we get to our fixed assets, well here we can see they're still sitting at no VAT, but if we were to buy an expensive asset over £2,000, there will now be an option to choose 20% VAT on capital purchases. We're not going to choose that as a default because we're going to assume that we will be buying items that we won't be reclaiming VAT because they'll be less than the 2000 Okay, what we need to do is we need to add a new code for the flat rate adjustment. And usually in Xero that would be a sales code because you're going to pay over less to HMRC than you actually charge to your customers. So we're going to say add account we're going to say it's a revenue account and we'll choose account 299. We'll call it flat rate adjustment and we change it to no VAT and save. So because we've now set that up, we need to go back to our financial settings and we need to choose that code. Scroll down to the revenue section and select it and now save. Okay, let's look at creating a sales invoice. So we're on the 6th of March, it's at today's date. It's local radio advertising, it's £100. We code it to sales as normal. And when we select sales code, the VAT is automatically showing us 20% VAT on income. We will approve our sales invoice. We'll take a very quick look at it. And just to show you that there's nothing different on this sales invoice. When this invoice goes to your customer, so when we send your invoice to Happy Housewares, they will see an invoice as normal with 20% VAT. So your customers have no idea. They don't need to know which VAT scheme you are on. So your sales invoice is exactly as it would have been before. Okay, so let's take a look at what happens on your VAT return. Accounting, and we choose the VAT return. I only want to look at that one transaction, so I'm only going to choose today's date and I'm going to say create. Now we can see that we're set up as a cruel flat rate scheme, which is fine. If it was incorrect here, we would go to edit and that would take us to our financial settings. Choose create. 
and at this stage it asks us to input our flat rate percentage. It's quite good, if we were not sure about it, we can go straight to the HMRC website here. So we're on the HMRC website and Magic Media are looking down and they know that they're under the type of business that's called advertise and so their flat rate percentage will be 11%. But it's their first year of VAT registration. They've newly set up the business, newly registered for VAT. So they get a 1% discount. So their percentage is 10%. It also tells you we've set up account 299 and that's where any adjustments will be coded to and that will be automatic. And then we choose update. Okay, so let's look at what happens on our VAT return. There's one figure on here in box one that the VAT due is £12. The sales value is 120 so that's based on our one sales invoice. If we go into our transactions by tax rate, it shows the VAT that's charged out that says £20, but the calculation is based on the gross figure of £120 and it's 10%. So no surprise that this figure, the VAT due, is £12. OK, we're now going to look at what happens when we enter a bill into zero. So we have a telephone bill. It's from NetConnect and it's £50 plus VAT. So we'll fill in the control total that the total bill is £60. Description. The unit price, we're now going to put £60 because it's a full amount, including the VAT. We're going to choose our telephone account, and Zero will automatically select the default tax rate, which is now no VAT. Because on the flat rate scheme, we're no longer reclaiming the VAT. So we'll approve our bill, and we'll go and take another look at our VAT return. So we're back in our VAT return. Let's look at it and see if there's anything different. So we still have output VAT of £12. And when we scroll down, there's nothing else on our VAT return because that's all that now happens. We calculate the VAT based on our sales invoice and we have nothing to reclaim. OK, we're going to input one other bill because we know if we've got a high value item that we can reclaim that. So we're going to say that the unit price is £2,000 because that's what it has to be to be high value or else more than that. Let's choose the computer equipment fixed asset code and this time we need to click on the drop down and we need to select the 20% VAT on capital purchases. Let's approve and again we're going back to our VAT return. So this time, in box four, the VAT reclaimed on our purchases, we have the VAT that we can reclaim because our purchase was a high value capital item. And again, we've got box seven, the amount for that purchase. If we go to the backup transactions by tax rate, first of all, we have our sales invoice. And then when we go to the 20% on the capital purchases, we have our new PC. So what I'm going to do before I create the VAT return is I'm actually going to remove the bill for the new computer. So I'm going to just choose void and it's gone. And I'm doing that so that we've got a VAT return that's more realistic with the one sales invoice and the one purchase invoice. OK, so we know what the VAT return looks like. We know that we've got £12 on a sales invoice and we know that we've got nothing on our purchases. When we choose finalise VAT return, we know that we have to pay HMRC £12. But let's take a look at what's on our profit and loss account for that period. So I'm going to select the profit and loss account. And again, I'm only going to choose the one day. So I'm selecting the 6th of March only and I'm going to choose update. So we know that our sales are £100 as before. We know that our purchases now include VAT, so our telephone bill is £50 plus VAT, which is £60. And then we also can see that zero was calculated and entered on our profit and loss account the flat rate VAT adjustment of £8. So that £8 is the £20 that you charged on your sales invoice less the £12 you have to pay over to HMRC. So that £8, if you like, is the compensation for the fact that you're no longer able 
to reclaim the VAT on your telephone bill. Now, if life was as straightforward and you only had these two transactions, you would actually be able to say, well, wait a minute, the VAT on this bill was £10 and I have only saved eight. If I had been on the standard scheme, I would have had output VAT of £20, less input VAT of £10, and I would have paid HMRC £10. Instead, on the flat rate scheme, we're paying HMRC 12, not 10. So that is how the flat rate scheme works in Zero. So just to recap what we did, we went into financial settings, we set up Zero saying we were on the flat rate scheme, we set up an account 299 for the flat rate adjustment. When we went to do our VAT return, at that stage we were asked what the flat rate percentage was. We created our VAT return, we could see that we had £12 to pay to HMRC. That figure made sense because it was 10% of our gross sales invoice. We could also see that we reclaimed nothing on our bill for our telephone costs, so we paid over the £12 to HMRC. Zero calculated the flat rate adjustment, which was the £20 that you charged on your sales invoice, less the £12 that you paid over to HMRC. That £8 being your compensation, if you like, for the fact that you are no longer reclaiming the VAT on your purchases. That's the flat rate scheme in Zero. If you like the video, please let me know that you like the video. Why don't you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you'll get notified when new videos are uploaded on a regular basis. If you've got any questions, any comments, please put them below and I'll do my best to respond. But until next time, happy zeroing.